is our third main topic today? John, our third main topic comes to us from Don J. Hey, John, I know you love Yellowstone, and some surprising news broke today. Deadline is reporting that Paramount is considering ending Yellowstone in its current form. The reason? Apparently, Kevin Costner is being difficult and making unreasonable <laughs> demands about his shooting schedule and wanting to work less, which is affecting morale on the set. Taylor Sheridan is now in the process of writing a potential spinoff to continue the universe with Matthew McConaughey as the lead. What do you make of this shocking turn of events? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, John. And listen, Yellowstone, up until The Last of Us, has been my, I think, the best show on TV. It's remarkable. And the viewership numbers on it are staggeringly good. And they've just gotten bigger over the years. It's in the double digits. It's in the tens of millions that watch the show. And it just continues to excel and exceed. And Some people aren't as big on season five so far. I have been loving season five, by the way. And it was out of nowhere. They're currently on a mid-season break. Okay, so this season is broken into two parts. They had the first eight episodes and they're on a mid-season break. And then sometime in summer is when the second half of the season is going to play. And so we're just waiting around patiently. And all of a sudden, this report comes out yesterday saying, oh, yeah, show's done. This second half of season five, that's it. After that, it's done. And they're going to kind of replace it with a new show that is going to star Matthew McConaughey. Well, I'm an Academy Award winner, Matthew McConaughey. I'm a big fan of McConaughey. I am. But this is what Deadline is writing, okay? They wrote this. Uh, Deadline understands that Taylor Sheridan, co-creator and showrunner, uh, Paramount Global and Paramount Network, are moving to end their signature show in its current form. But they are plotting a potential franchise extension to continue the Dutton saga, uh, a new show with Matthew McConaughey in, st in talks to star. It is unclear which of the Yellowstone cast will move over for the McConaughey-led series, but it is expected to include several of the big stars. So they're saying they're getting a new, they're going to end Yellowstone, and then make a sequel series of it with a different name led by Matthew McConaughey, but a bunch of the stars of Yellowstone will carry over. Okay, why? Why is that happening? Well, according to Deadline, they're saying this. The crux of the issue with the original Yellowstone series involves star Kevin Costner and disagreements over shooting schedules. This is where it gets kind of spicy. Listen to this. Sources tell Deadline that Costner, who had originally limited himself to 65 days of shooting on Yellowstone, only wanted to shoot for 50 days for the first part of the current season, which was still eight full episodes, right? Okay, 50 days of shooting for the first part of that season. But for the second batch of episodes of the current, fifth season of Yellowstone, the actor, Kevin Costner, who just won Best Television Actor in a Drama Series at the Golden Globes, only wanted to spend one week shooting. Only one week. Costner is directing and starring in his multi-part Western epic Horizon, which he co-wrote with John Baird that landed at Warner Brothers Pictures and New Line. Given that Costner plays John Dutton, the patriarch of the Dutton clan, this has been a source of frustration for Taylor Sheridan, and it is understood to be causing morale problems for the other stars of the show, which includes Luke Grimes, Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, Cole Hauser, on and on and on. We are told that Paramount Network has declined Costner's most recent proposal and instead has made the decision to move on with another show. The sources say. So look, again, this is up until The Last of Us started, my favorite show on TV. And Kevin Costner's character of John Dutton is an amazing character. I love this show. I love his character. Hell, I even love his chemistry with Piper Parabo. She's great too. I love her. A little bit of coyote ugly up there in Yellowstone. <laughs> I I love this show passionately. And I'm upset. But the reality is. I don't know that I have anybody to be upset at. If you're Paramount and Taylor Sheridan, you can't let your show be held hostage. You've got to be like, look, we are not going to kowtow and we're just going to have to rewrite our entire show around your whims of any one person and you, what you want your schedule to be. We can't do it that way. We can't function that way. The show is bigger than any one person, even if that person is the star of the show and a fantastic Kevin Costner. At the same time, 
You know, I've heard Kevin Costner say in earlier seasons, I never expected this show would last this long. I don't think anybody expected Yellowstone to be in season five, getting ready theoretically to head into a season six. And if you're Kevin Costner and you are an Academy Award winning, Golden Globe winning, Emmy Award winning, whatever, you're this, this performer and you are a director at heart. He's also an Academy Award winning director. Let's not forget that. And you've done this show this long and you've got other projects you want to do. I can't really be mad at a Kevin Costner for going, you know what? Or, you know what? You know, I, I, I don't want to spend my time doing this show anymore. I loved it. It's been great for me. I, I'm putting words in Kevin Costner's mouth now. But in theory, I have other things. I Listen, I'm getting older. I've only got a certain period of time I can do the projects I want to do. And I've got this opportunity to do this new franchise of films with Warner Brothers and I'm going to write and direct and all that kind of stuff. And I want to spend my time doing that now for whatever number of years I've got left in my career. I can't really be mad at him for that if he's already given me like five seasons of some of my favorite show of all time. So I'm upset, but I don't really have anybody in particular to be upset at because I don't think Paramount should do things any differently. And I can't blame Kevin Costner for wanting to do other stuff. Now, what does this mean about Moving on. Well, Matthew McConaughey, I mean, if I could think of an actor that would fit in really well on the Dutton Ranch or in the world of Yellowstone, Matthew McConaughey is the guy. He would fit in that just fine. You know, he would be, he would be all right, all right, all right. He would be <laughs> totally good in that. I, I'm, I'm good with it. And I hope they do bring over more care. I can't imagine not having Rip on television anymore. I gotta have Rip. I gotta have... You know, a number of these characters, I, I hope it's a continuation. Give it a new name, move on. I'm okay with it, but it's it's upsetting to me, Rob. You heard about this. This is still a developing story, by the way. We could get more details later today, but this is kind of crazy. This is one of the most successful shows on TV. What do you think about this? I think it's nuts, and it comes down to, here's, here's I think everything you said about Costner is bang on, but also there are contracts you know, he's signed, like he can say that, and I, I get it, six seasons, five seasons, he still is obligated to not just, like, no wonder people are demoralized. You're an actor that's on a hit show. Every actor dreams to be on a hit show. Every actor is not an Academy Award winning director of Dances with Wolves, doesn't have a whole, you know, other career behind them. I mean, the show, if you're on a hit successful, successful zeitgeist show like Yellowstone, you know, you want to stay there. And if that show... If, if the linchpin of that show is Kevin Costner and he wants out, I can only imagine how frustrating that is, especially because there's not going to get him. a. They have to have a chance to write him out. Hopefully they'll be able to come to some kind of an accommodation, but you know, shooting for 65 days, if you think about it, there's only, they only shoot five day weeks in TV. So 65 days, isn't just 65 days. That's over the course of however many weeks that is. So add in those weekend days too into the week. So 65 days becomes what? 85 days. How many? Almost three months. Yeah. That's a long time. And if you're prepping something and you have a schedule that you have to keep, I can understand that. But at the end of the day too, I hope it, it doesn't become some weird acrimonious, horrible, they're going to play out some kind of push pull tug of war in the press because this is a great show i like kevin costner very much as an actor and as a person i met him once a long time ago and he was very nice and um i uh i've always loved him and i hope it all works out because the show's great and i love this i love this fran i love i never thought i'd say it, but i love the yellowstone franchise it's a whole universe now 1883 yeah. 1923 they got one set for the 40s and the 60s they're talking about doing a four sixes ranch spinoff i mean they're making like this whole thing going on and to me kind of the centerpiece of that is kevin costner's john dutton and again i i get it he's if he's done the show for five years and it's longer than he thought it would go and he's got other things he wants to do you gotta live your life man i i get it but i hope they're able to work it out anyway guys question is for you what do you think about this? Are you somebody who watches Yellowstone? Maybe you're not, and this, none of this matters to you whatsoever. What do you think about the possibility of taking a whole bunch of the characters, moving them over into now a Matthew McConaughey-led series? I'm not going to lie. I am kind of intrigued by that. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, 
DraftKings. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57, has all the Super Bowl action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boosts. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see what prop bet will be boosted. Going into Super Bowl 57, I think you got to look at the Philadelphia Eagles as taking home the big prize. Keep your eye on Jalen Hurts. He's going to be the difference maker in the game. So guys, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use the code Campia. New customers can bet $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Campia. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details.